Well, Trinidad and Tobago, good morning. And we are here at Broad County, as we have been saying all through the past few weeks, that you know the US Open T20 Cricket Tournament, very popular tournament indeed. And you would have been um, hearing about a guy called Mark. Mohammed Ahmed Qureshi, and this is the man here. You would have read um, Omar. You would have read about him on the Chennai Guardian as well. Yeah, fantastic, and it's good to be here in Broad County. And Mark, it's another fantastic season for you. Another fantastic tournament. You know, um, we're hearing so much. We have seen all the bigger players coming and to participate in the tournament this year. And the good news is that we understand that ICC has sanctioned the tournament. Correct. Correct. This is the first time after six years we have like sanction for USACA and ICC approval this tournament for US Open. Well, Mark, you, you have been hearing a lot about this tournament. This tournament has been building over the years, yes. getting bigger and bigger you and bigger. This, this season it definitely will be the four. biggest you because now have you have West Indies players here because it's ICC approved. So if you have your first yeah. uniform, you're going to change And um, basically, we have 145 teams registered this year. 145. Only 145. And then now we need only 32 teams can play here. So they're growing from four to 32 teams and 145 teams register so we cannot let them play for all the 30 uh, 145 teams so they're growing very fast in US cricket well uh, our information is that you have also gotten the blessings of the United States Cricket Association yeah this is the first year we have the U US Cricket Association they're joining and they're helping and support this year for the sanction so they have more international players came in and we will notify them all the players who's coming in and they can be watch them the games so and there was a very blessing for them and ICC also support them for them blessing so there is all is US Open this is the first time US the biggest cricket tournament and US Open sanctioned by ICC and Cricket Council uh, USA. And Mark, I'm sure I know this is a proud moment for you, you know, having worked so hard and so diligently over the years to establish this tournament. Now that has been ICC and USA approved, right? I'm sure you're a proud man. Um, but more importantly, your role in involving cricket in the United States, your role in involving and improving cricket in the United States. My role, I'm the CEO, chairman, and also basically I'm the founder of the Cricket Council USA, and then promoter. Our uh, company is the Cricket Council USA is promoting cricket in United States, all the states. Um, we, I know for a fact that Samuel Badri, the number one T20 bowler, is here. He travelled with us yesterday, and I know he's playing with your team. What are some of the other big name players that you have in your team? There's a lot of Pakistan, Shabir Ahmed, and then Fahad, and Fahad Iqbal, and all uh, the players is here, and from the US All Star. And there is a big name from there, basically KGMG. KGMG, one of the biggest team, they was trying to play in the uh, Caribbean also. This is a, uh, they sponsored by Cheers Management Company, one of them the biggest. So their was goal is they're gonna form this company, and one of the biggest singing groups in US is uh, Kids Gang Music Groups. That's what the name is. Okay. So all musical groups is here. All you see them watching, they're coming in the music, they have own songs and all other things. So that's good for promote for US Open Cricket because they got a songs, they got a music groups and big supporters. They're over 20 million they have uh, in Instagrams uh, uh -huh. uh, messages. So there is good, uh, good to know that teams came and joined it this year. Of course, and the cricket is not just cricket on the field. You know, it's a lot more people involved. And you said the music people, um, a lot more the USA people involved. You know, the the mayor of um, Fort Lauderdale, I'm sure, is involved. Everybody's involved in this tournament. Yeah, the senators, local, and then also the mayor, commissioner from Broward County, and then also the Laurel Hill, the commissioner was here, and park recreations, all the involved. And our staff is diligent, like few law firms involved on this our organization, also for cricket council, but they have number of people they're working day and night for the past uh, three months I'm very congruent to these people they're working so hard for just for the cricket and cricket is not making any profitable money this all is free vendors here every teams is come here and they're free uniforms and we're providing cricket console mm -hmm. and providing them lunches for all of them breakfast mm -hmm. and all this thing for the cricket console the honor 32 teams is the big hosting all the uniform which is like lots of them on there people thinking is like very easy to hosting the mm -hmm. tournament but is not there this is they have a lot of back-end work mm -hmm. for IT to uh, live telecasting this is the first time mm -hmm. Fox Channel they have done and this is one of the Fox Channel people they have involved with the uh, crews that do live streaming this year for us it's very honoring to them and they, they, there is um, 
the Hall of Fame, Cricket Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Chamber is here. Uh, two just came. Chris Prasad from the biggest Ontario Cricket Council president is here, Cricket Council Canada. Mm -hmm. Canadian Cricket Board is here, Shah is here, and Mr. Mark Adia, one is the big telecom company, is involved on this tournament. So uh, there is so many actions going on because after the sanction is approved for USACA, and USACA sanction approved the blessing for the more cricket in the United States. Great, great. Well, Mark, you know, um, more than cricket, uh, my understanding is that the, the local economy here gets a boost every time you host this tournament. Yeah, because if you look at it, there are 32 teams and 40 teams are coming. Average is 20 players. They're coming and almost 750 uh, players here, 750. And then plus they have hotels and transportations and the airline tickets internationally, local. And they do also shopping after that. So there's like over $5 million they're spending on this county and Broward County. So there is a big revenue for them. And then hotel like we had last night that hotel was $75 they went to $150 so they doubled like two weeks ago the same hotel you get $75 now $150 then the people was waiting so there is uh, can tell you the people and there is the restaurant and the calling is like they everybody ordering for the day nights and foods and stuff so there was a good economy affecting on this uh, tournaments and my final question to you uh, there's something called the Caribbean Premier League which you know you know about. Um, have you ever given thought to taking your all-star team and making an entry into the Caribbean Premier League? Yeah, that's a good question because I was interested to take the Caribbean uh, Premier League. I have the sense of some guy, they say promises, they're going to go in, used to be work for our uh, organization, but he's no longer Mr. Jeff Miller. And he went there for his job was basically finding the spot for the Caribbean Premier League. And then we can do the tournaments here also for the matches. And we are very much interesting on it and we want to be uh, open communication doors. KGMG, they are one of the teams, they want also they going in Caribbean Premium League. So there is the opportunity and they will going to bring Caribbean Premium League is uh, very, very good because this field they can play and then going there, there's good relationship with United States and Caribbean and the economy, both of them, they basically is better because they are a lot of cricket on the Caribbean and less cricket in US, but the talent cricket is the Caribbean. So if they bring in, a lot of crowds going to come, a lot of people going to come to watch, that'd be good things to have. So I was, it's still interesting if somebody can listen this uh, show and then come back to me, I can put my numbers out there, 954-410. 9211 Mac Qureshi and our cricket council love to have that team in CPL. Well, that's on that note, we'll just take a short break. Remember, what we are doing this year, we're giving you an in depth, um, an in depth look at what's going on here at Broward. Every year, you will normally get a, a program, but this year, we have a real special in store for you.